Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Buffy Season 8, Issue Number 35, Twilight Part 4. This is the ending to the Twilight Story arc, where all our questions kind of get answered, in a way, kind of, ish. Anyways, um, I'm going to try to get, uh, review this as best as I can without giving too many spoilers away, however, I am going to spoil some stuff for you guys. Um, although this is a very important issue, th there's not really too much to say other than what's the obvious big stuff. If you remember the last issue, Twilight was revealed to be Angel, uh, Buffy and him had sex for a half hour, and then they revealed that it's all part of the natural evolution of being. Buffy and Angel became so powerful that they evolved to the next step, or something along that line. I recommend you read the last issue, it makes so much more sense than listening to me jabber on about it. So, issue number 35 picks up where we left off. Apparently the universe was using Buffy and Angel uh, to kind of start the evolution of things. At least that's how I interpret it. This may not necessarily be the case, but the fact of the matter is that Angel says that the universe has given them this. It was set into motion to happen. Buffy and Angel were supposed to evolve and kind of continue the motion of the natural order of things. I hope that made sense. Well, anyways, they're basically in heaven. Whatever they want, they get. They want to be in Mexico, they're in Mexico. They want to be in England in 1672, they're there. Whatever clothes they want to wear, they got it. But mo more than anything, it's some previous Slayer and Vampire's clothes. But whatever they want, they basically get. And although Buffy and Angel is happy, Buffy says, well, I can't do this. You know, I gotta go back, I gotta go back to my family, I gotta help them. They're, they're in trouble. And Angel says, well, the universe has given us this. You know, it's not like it's our choice. We need to be here. This is what the universe wanted. And Buffy says, well, have I ever really done anything the universe wanted? And Angel kind of says, I'm with you. So, again, here's some spoilers. So if you don't want to spoil stuff, uh, I'll, uh, uh, you might want to pause it or go to the end or just uh, mute it. And when I go like this, the spoilers will be over. Uh, so... What basically happens is the Angel and Buffy go back um, and start fighting all the demons that have come out on Earth. Uh, you know, punch, kick, boom. Uh, Buffy and Angel are working together. And apparently Angel is on the side of good. And in addition to that, a big machine ship-like thing shows up and out of it comes Spike. So Spike has returned, saying that, uh, let me just read the quote exactly so that we can uh, get this right. Uh, if you want to put these demons down and end this Twilight crap once and for all, you talk to me. And there's Spike. So, uh, interesting. Interesting how things are going to go down. I mean, we got Buffy and Angel together and then we're throwing Spike in the mix and there's a big Buffy bangle uh, mess of uh, awesomeness. Uh, so, spoilers over. Um, Let's just talk about this issue itself. When I heard that Angel was going to be Twilight, I was a little bit worried that it, it was going to obviously ruin the character for me because it's Angel. He's one of my favorite fictional characters of all time, up there with, like, Batman and Link. He's Angel. So I was incredibly concerned. Um, how they did things, would I have gone the route that they did? No. But how they did things, they handled it, for the most part, pretty well. Um, Angel isn't necessarily a bad guy or evil. He was kind of just doing what the universe forced him to do, and he was kind of playing damage control. Um, so I guess how things were handled were okay. I still wouldn't have gone that route, but on a whole, I'm okay with what's happened. Obviously things still aren't done, even though Angel's back and on the side of good, where does this leave everything, you know, will people accept Angel and forgive Angel, will they understand what's happened to him, because you guys have to understand is this is very much an Angel Buffy story arc, but for me at least, and for a lot of people, this is an Angel thing, I mean, Angel is considered a hero, champion, I mean, he had his own show, his own comic, he, he's destined to play a major role in the apocalypse, hopefully a good role, uh, and, you know, from stopping the apocalypse, so he is important, so it's important to know exactly where Angel stands. I don't know I think that the comic book handles, for the most part, good. 
like I said, I wouldn't have gone that route, but I, I, I'll, I'll live. And I'm interested to see how things go from here. Now I have to go because I got a lot of stuff to do. It's still finals week, but uh, Buffy issue number 35, I recommend picking up. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.